Hey guys, Kimberly here, and I want to share with you a really simple, easy way to create branded links to you. Now, a lot of times whenever you're sharing links on Facebook or social media, sometimes those links are really long, and sometimes we kind of resort to those shorteners like Google or Bitly, but there's a better option, a better way. It also allows for link tracking, so you can see how many people clicked on your link, and it's branded to you, so it looks like it is your link. So what I'm talking about is called Rebrandly. It is phenomenal. So I already use Rebrandly for my personal link shortening or making my own links, but today I decided that I'm gonna create one for my team. So you get to see from the beginning what this process looks like, how to set it up, and how to get rolling with your own custom link. Now, before we get started, if you already have a domain that is pointing towards something, let's say you have your own website and you already have a domain, this is not going to work. You have to have one, a domain that is not assigned to anything. So for example, I own wicklesskimberly.com. That is already pointing somewhere. So I can't use that one. So what I chose to do is do kimberlypolita.co. So it looks very similar. So it's still branded to me but it's not that exact same domain. So just to recap, if you already have a domain that is pointing somewhere, you need to have a new domain. So I don't have a domain period for my team, so I'm gonna jump over to GoDaddy, show you what that looks like if you've never done GoDaddy before, it is phenomenal. If you have your own favorite way to get a vanity domain, use that, but I'm gonna show you with GoDaddy. So I'm gonna screen share, show you what that looks like. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is up at the top where it says find your perfect domain, start typing in something that you would like. Maybe it's your name or maybe it's your brand or maybe like for me, I'm gonna be doing it for my team. Since I've already purchased the domain for my team, I'm gonna to try to search for something similar so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so my team is called the Fragrance Collective and it looks like the Fragrance Collective is .com is already taken. So if I wanted to look over here, I can see what other options I have. Now your eyes are automatically going to go to the cheapest price, like 99 cents here, 99 cents here. So do not be persuaded to get something because it is cheap, because look what it's going to cost you after that first year, $50. You don't want to pay $50 a year for a domain down here, $39. So you want to do something that is even. So we're at $11.99 and then like the next year will be $17.99. And there's going to be some that are $14.99 a year. Just do what makes the most sense for you. So just for example, let's say that I'm going to purchase this first one. One thing that I want to tell you is you want the privacy. You want the unlimited privacy. Now, let me tell you, if you do not choose this, your phone is going to be ringing off the wall at all times of the day and night. So to protect your sanity, I suggest you do the ultimate protection and security. Now, after this, um, I choose to uncheck this. Like because I'm not using it for a website, I'm using it for forwarding. And I don't need an email address for it, so I just choose no thanks, continue to cart. Now one thing too, if you're not sure about how long you're gonna wanna keep this one, it's gonna automatically populate to two years. So I always change this to one. I just wanna pay for one year, so $20 is a lot cheaper than $50. That is one piece of advice. Complete purchase. Then once you're complete, it's gonna take you to this screen. Bada bing. So this is my domains. Here is the domain that I purchased, the fragrancecollective.co. Now, let's talk about Rebrandly. I'm gonna jump over to Rebrandly. So this is what Rebrandly looks like. You can see, so I have, this is my personal one, kimberlypolita.co, but you can create links for anything and they're branded to you, right? And so you know, over here, you can see how many times people have clicked on that link, but let's add that new one that we just did. So we're gonna click on domains and we're gonna add a new domain. Now, you can actually come to Rebrandly and set up a, a new domain. I just already have other domains set up with GoDaddy, so that's where I did it there. So you can do it right here. You can start typing in the domain that you want, see if it's available and you can pay, purchase, all that kind of fun stuff in Rebrandly. But since I have already purchased my other domain, I'm gonna go down here, it says already have a domain. We're gonna set up DNS. Then we're gonna type in the domain. Then next. Now here is that step that I was warning you about because I didn't want you to get this far and then have to start all over. So um, if you choose no, like if I said it was KimberlyPlita.com because that's being housed somewhere else, it's gonna tell me we're gonna have to choose something different. So yes, this is a spare domain. I bought it just for this purpose. Next. 
All right. This is where the important stuff comes in. This is where it's going to take that domain and make sure that it is pointed in the correct location. So this first one where it says mandatory, we're going to copy this points to address. I'm going to use command C or you can right click copy. Then I'm going to go back to that end screen with GoDaddy. Now from here, we're going to go to manage zones and we're going to type in the website again. Now, right down here where it says record type A, we are going to edit it. And remember, if we go back, we are looking for points to. So points to instead of part, we're gonna do command V to paste or right click paste and then save. And that is all you have to do. Now, if I go back over to rebrandly, um, it does say that it could take up to 24 hours, but let's go back and let's show you what that looks like. So now that I'm back over here, you can see that this is not green yet. So once that is green, you'll be able to start creating links. Um, and if I try to click on it, it's going to tell me it's not verified yet. I have seen it done a lot faster than 24 hours, but let me show you how to create a link in my other one. So let's say I want to create a quick link to our consultant guy, make it super easy to send to new consultants. So it's not this super long link at the top. I'm going to command C copy come back over to rebrandly, click new link. I'm going to paste the link and it's automatically going to create a link for me. Now, this is the big piece. You want to change what this last piece is so that way it's not just some random letters or numbers. So I'm going to make this one say guide and then create link and the link is created, which is pretty awesome. It is super easy to use. There's also an app if you prefer to use your smartphone. And from here, you can copy it. You can go make sure it does work for you. And that is it, you guys. Super easy way to get custom branded links. If it helped you, make sure you let me know down below in the comments. If you know someone else that this would benefit or they would find value out of, make sure you share it with them. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.